so what are the what are the name we send so we should uh, see here right so here i sending john then it should be seen here so how to fetch the thing so go to the profile page so inside that make it as a parent profile page for a particular name save it go back here yeah this page for john so if we say uh king then it will show king right so instead of this so we can make it as the normal page so go back here uh the profile page we can create users dot js so uh, this is a separate page create react function get create function export users component in this users component i'm going to use a constant called users inside that i'm going to use array of users right so like a uh, name name will be john and uh email uh some john at mail.com so like that so we have multiple things the john check check maybe uh, um Picture. so right so we have the different users so in the users component uh, what we need to do we need to um, run the map function why we have the array of records so users dot map of uh, name and index and inside that we need to call the profile component so the profile component should receive the user input as name and also we need to set key as index right so we are importing the profile component so instead of profile component we need to make it as in the app.js file so here we need to put users and changing the path um users right this users uh, will will be uh, will be called uh, the list of users so from that we need to call the dummy path that is a profile slash name what we have in previously profile users so move it to top of that and now go back to the navigation uh, instead of this make it as users and the path should be users right save everything now go to the profile page we need to uh, currently uh, we are passing the data Through props, not from the params, right? So uh, either way can work. Uh, currently, okay. So here we are seeing the router. So don't need to send any props for this. So instead of that, we can do do class name is equal to users user. So here we need to showcase the name. So name. user dot name so each user and user dot name and copy it tag user dot email save it save all go back so click on users or uh, it should show it should show the list of users so here we have the users we have the user in Yeah, in front of this, we need to put links. Save it. Go back. You have the list of users, right? Uh, unique key prop. Yeah, I have the key. Save it. Go back. And so for the time being, quick CSS. So we have the multiple users here. So user should be background. Uh, uh, background color. and yep that's so and this class is equal to user list
Yep. So user list display flags and item center just to space between. Okay, so for the time being, I'm using like this. So we will see, we will use a an optimization bootstrap or any material design. So by adding tents and text line center. So we have uh, multiple users. So whenever the user is going to click the particular user, at that time, it should redirect to slash user slash uh, the particular username or slash profile slash the username. And in that page, it should show the username and the uh, mail ID. So that's the ultimate idea. So the copy everything and go back to the page import sorry, user dot CSS, put it here, save it, go back here and import user dot CSS, save it, go back, reload the page. Okay, forgot to add class. So uh, currently we are showcasing the list of uh, users. You can mention uh, in your project like uh, we can add the list of products or you can show what other things, right? So after that, what we need to do, we need to use click function. So once we click this, we should redirect to the page. So uh, we have the multiple users. When you click on John, it will show the profile page for John. Go back. When you click on John, it will show profile page for John. Like that, you can you can use all the pay, all the users with the same component. Now we need to create a separate uh, separate separate file or separate component for each users. So we can use the same component again and again. So uh, by this way, we can send the dynamic uh, value to the particular uh, component, and in the particular uh, in which component we are going to use dynamically so you can able to fetch data from the params so params is nothing but uh, what are the information we have in the url that's called params so in this scenario we have the params called john and uh, so profile is actual page path but in some time we have the different kind of urls right so profile name is equal to john so like that this is also one type of uh, uh, urls right so how to do that so if we do this one, so how can able to fetch the data? Sometimes we have uh, some scenarios like this. So we will, we will see how to uh, fetch the data. So remember to go back to the app.js file. So the same thing, uh, we have the profile. I copy and paste. I'm going to reuse the same component. Or, um, OK, the path will be a profile. And it should be element of profile, right? Go to the profile title page and here we are using uh use params and you said that location dot search dot so this will be a string like this so for example if you put john and email is equal to john and gmail.com like that then you can able to uh get all the params whatever you have after that what you need to do you need to uh you need to do some JS handling like a string is equal to this string. So here we you need to uh, you need to uh, split it out in the entire string into multiple parts. Like you have to use string dot split split by I got to split by is equal to okay, split by and and you can see here right. So it came name equal to John email equal to john email uh, before starting that you can what you can do you can string you have the string you need to remove the uh, first question mark um, for that you need to what you need to do is string dot remove string dot remove add string replace question mark into empty and you get this string so by this way you need to remove the question mark then after that you need to store this into new string new string 
the new string you need to do the split split by the equal to operator or oh, sorry the end operator right and this will give back the array so each array have the string or uh, each string should have the, the variable as well as in the value so you need to uh, store into name name underscore value as a new variable and after that what you need to do you need to run the for each so new underscore sorry name underscore value should be um it should give back uh, something like for each inside that uh inside the uh, term yeah i just passing temporary variable and it should return back it should return the temp dot again you need to split it by the equal to right so when you see okay there is some spelling mistake if you do this um for each okay instead of that you can use map it will return array of two items so you can see the first one have the key and the second one have the value the first one have the key and the second one have the value so by this way you can able to uh, transform from here so this is the rare, rare case scenario so sometimes uh, the api team can able to give uh, the url like this you need to get data you need to grab the data from the url so at that time you need to do some small kind of a javascript options so like you need to first get all the things what are the parameters then you need to split it into two things and inside that you need to get the name again you need to get the label and you need to get the value so by this way um, you need to do the operations so for the entire thing so we have the location location is nothing but the entire url in the location we have the field called search search is nothing but actual this everything will be actual route what are the things present after immediate after that that's called search so if you want to fetch directly through react hook uh, which is provided from react router at that time you need to use use location as a hook so with the help of that you can fetch the particular search element after that you need to do some javascript operations right so here you can directly tell location dot search save it you can see here if you want to show name john uh, email john at email if you want to do that then you need to uh, do all the process so whatever i'm see i i told you so okay let me remove it for you so the like location should be replaced the question mark and it going to store for location after that what we need to do uh, we need to split it and then and update right so for that const and this const called location so we are we are splitting in two parts after that what we are going to do um we need to run the for each or uh, yep we can run the for each like const so and this const called location dot for each and instead have the element so before that the user is equal to empty object so this object will going to uh, get all the data from the particular ur so we have the element so user of element of 0 and element of 1 right so equal to save it so after that put console hog of user this location should be placed here so save it go back here the user is not defined line number 9 okay put const before this go back location replace is not a function location okay location dot search so refresh the page so you can see oh okay name email i think the problem is here 
for that console logo element save it you can see here name email this thing okay so for that what you need to do element dot again you need to run the split and here the equal to operator you need to store into const new element is equal to so now you have the new element so in the new element you have the zero then first operator now save it go back you can see the actual object so refresh the page you can see the our email and name so by this way you can able to visualize the username user dot name save it go back yeah you can see and uh, user dot email save it go back you can see the user dot email so by this way uh, you can able to perform the actions so that's about today's session guys